Hi everyone, it's Ryan Ritchie with another product review here on the digitallifestyle.tv. And it's not very often that we do a product review and come away simply amazed. And that's pretty much the case with today's product. It's the Elgato Turbo.264. Looks like this on the retail shelves. And essentially, what the Turbo.264 allows you to do, as the name implies, is encode H.264 file types. The thing that makes this so cool is the speed. It is impressive. Let's take a look. Turbo comes with a CD for the necessary application. Simply plug the device into an open USB slot, do the quick software install, and you're ready to go. One important note, be sure to check for updates before you go any further. The 1.0 version of the software offered far less customization and options. The latest version adds YouTube support and the ability to create customized presets. Definitely a huge plus. To use the included application, simply drag or add the file you want to encode, choose the format, including iPhone or Apple TV, and press Start. The interface will give you a completed time estimate and show you the number of frames encoded per second in real time. Additionally, Turbo Encode options are then installed in any QuickTime export dialog box, so any program that uses QuickTime for exporting video can be used with the Elgato, provided you pick one of the Elgato presets. I'd mentioned at the beginning that speed is what sells the aptly named Turbo. In our tests, encoding a 7 minute segment of root access with the Turbo took just under 6 minutes. That same encode in Apple's compressor took over 11 minutes, and that's on a 2.6 GHz dual dual core Mac Pro with 4 gigs of RAM. And the great thing is, because the Turbo is handling the encode, the time savings is even more dramatic on older systems. If you work with a lot of H.264 files or simply don't want your CPU tied up as you encode, the Turbo is a great choice. The only minor complaint would be the lack of an estimated file size prior to encoding. If you need to keep the file under a certain size, say 100 megabytes to upload to a specific video site, you might need to do some trial encodes to find the best settings. You know, other than our one little gripe that we're not able to see an estimated file size before the encoding begins, but frankly it encodes so quickly you could do three or four different encodes to get it right in the time you might be taking now. So whether it's for personal use or if you're like us and you have a ton of clips you need to get encoded at H.264, highly recommend Elgato's Turbo.264.